Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Redefine Horizons. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a services flyer uh, for your business organization in Inkscape. Uh, I've got a ton of videos on Inkscape, but a lot of them are getting old and Inkscape is, um, is changing. It's getting better, more functionality. The user interface is changing a little bit. So I thought it would it'd be a good, good time to do a refresher. Um, so I'm doing this video for Lori. She's our uh, content marketing specialist here at Redefine Horizons. Um, if you're looking for other uh, really good Inkscape uh, videos, I'd uh, encourage you to check out Logos by Nick. That's a, a channel here on YouTube, and Nick does a great job on a lot of his uh, Inkscape tutorials. I've learned a lot from those videos, so check that out. All right, so Services Flyer is just a one-page summary of a service that's offered by your, your business, so short and sweet. And uh, at Redefined Horizons, we have, I don't know, a dozen or two dozen uh, distinct services that we offer to clients depending on their needs. And what we like to do is uh, prepare a, a flyer for each service, and then, um, and then uh, we can put together different bundles of those services depending on what, what the, the type of client or potential client, right? So uh, let me, let me uh, pause the video and I'll show you. Let me go find one of these just so you can see an example. So this is an, an example of a services flyer that uh, we put together for our commercial real estate clients. It's a pre-sale pre surveyor checkup. Um, so it's got a simple layout here. There's usually, we usually have a, an image uh, with a little overlay box and then a, a, a couple little boxes here with some information about the service. And of course, we've got our, our company name down here at the bottom. So that's just an example of what a simple uh, services flyer might look like. Yeah, it's a little nicer than just a Word doc. And so we're going to lay out something similar to this uh, in Inkscape. Uh, it's not going to have this exact layout, uh, but the but the layout will be similar. Okay, so that's just a, that's an example. Okay, so let's go back into Inkscape here. And what I've got is I've just got some sample text, so I don't have to um, reset all the text styles here. So I've got the title text and the body text, and then I've got some boxes here with our color scheme. Okay, so um, the other really important thing is I, I've gone ahead and set up my layers here. Um, so make sure that, that you use layers, you have your layers set up. Um, and so the first thing I want to do is just kind of come up with the layout, the page layout or the, the layout grid. Um, and I'll do that on this shapes layout layer. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to experiment a little bit. Um, I don't want it to, uh, so this particular service flyer is actually something we're doing with a partner. Uh, partner firm and so I don't want it to look exactly like the ones that that we have done for our business although they're going to be uh, they're going to be similar and uh, we may end up um, actually even using a, a a different color scheme and font um, I haven't decided yet so let's go ahead and uh, assume for now that we're going to use our RH fonts and colors and uh, we'll, we'll figure out what kind of layout we can get so um, Somewhere in big bold letters, I want the uh, the the name of uh, the service, and so I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is uh, I'm going to I'm going to try a vertical bar uh, since we did a horizontal bar on our RH um, our RH flyer. So I'm going to try this one with a horizontal bar, and I don't want a stroke on those. So I'm going to come over and get rid of the stroke. Oop. And all I want is the fill. Uh, I feel like that still has a stroke. There we go. And so the, these boxes that that I'm doing now on the on the shapes layout layer are just, just going to give me a rough idea of, of what that layout uh, might look like. Um, and then uh, what I might do for now is just drag this text over. Let's see how this is going to look. Uh, so uh, I'm going to leave it like that for now, and this is actually going to be for UAV ortho photography. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So then, uh, what I think I want to do on this is um, I'm going to I'm going to have an image that actually fills most of this page. So I think I'm going to run the image down to here. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to 
I like this. This is a t so I have a. I should have told you guys I have a grid set up. It's a tenth of an inch by a tenth of an inch grid. So I'm going to leave it a tenth of an inch. What they call a gutter there. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, I want to have some room for uh, both companies to have their logo and name and maybe a web address. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I think to do that, we're gonna we're gonna make something that looks like this. Um, now I need another gutter here. So I think what I'm gonna do is move this up, and then I'm gonna move this up. Okay, so uh, those will be kind of our company company identification bars there. And, um, and actually, uh, what you can do on this, so I know I'm going to have a logo. So I'm assuming we're going to have some square logos we'll put there. And then we can have the, re the rest of the, you know, the company name with the URL we can put here. Okay. Um, so I think I like this. I'm trying to decide if I want, um, if I want anything else up here. You know what I might do is I might break this into columns. Um, so let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick a slightly lighter gray here. I'm going to say, all right, we want some columns here. So I think I'm going to try and do two columns of equal width. So I'm going to just guess at that. And so, no, nope, that's too big by quite a bit. Let's try this. Hmm. All right, so these can come out a tenth of an inch each. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get a tenth of an inch gutter there. Uh, but I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with it just the way it is there. Okay, so I think I'm going to have our, our my columns can run this way. Um, now, depending on the image, I'm, I, I may only put text in one or other of the columns. It just, just kind of depends on what the content of the image is. Um, and we can, we can put you know some bars on that um, but I think this is a this is a decent layout uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and lock that layout layer and I don't know how but I, I think I got a bunch of that stuff on the text title layer so let's move that down to the layout layer okay and we're just gonna lock that right and then we can Turn it on and off fairly easy. Okay, so uh, what we want to do now is we uh, we're gonna uh, actually save this as uh, our first uh, our first uh, flyer. So we're gonna call this uh, UAV Ortho Flyer. Okay, and then we can start to to uh, put some colors in here and to add some content. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually unlock this layer for a minute. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. And then I'm gonna pull that up into, so I don't have a good layer for that. So I'm gonna make a new layer and we're gonna call this uh, shapes. Color box, color boxes. Okay, and then I can grab that rectangle and move it up because I don't want to use my uh, I don't want to use my uh, actual uh, layout box. And then we can go ahead and set that color. Okay, so uh, actually I've got it here. So let's edit, copy, and then we can just paste that style. Okay, so uh, that'll go there. And then uh, down here, I know I'm going to have the two company logos. So I don't have the partner company's logo yet, uh, but we can drop in the RH logo. If I can remember uh, where I put it.
All right, so we're going to drag this down now, and we're going to resize it. And then we want to make sure we get it on the right layer. So let's go over to our layers and select that logo. And we're going to move that up to images. OK, and then uh, we know we want uh, some company, company info here. Uh, so I'm going to just grab this text and move it down here. And we're going to say. Define horizons. Okay. <clears throat> and then we can put the other uh, company here with their logo. So I'm just going to put a placeholder in there now. And we'll put a. Uh, Put a dummy URL for now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So then, uh, what we need to do is we need to get um, our image that we're going to use for this. Uh, so I need to go ahead and find that. Okay, guys. So I think I got a, an image here that'll that'll work. Uh, this is an image I downloaded off of Unsplash, and I may end up switching this out uh, for a different image, but I, it'll work for now. So let's go ahead and get this on the bottom layer. Let's just move it to the bottom. All right. So I want to get as much of the image to the the UAV to the bottom of the image as I can. I think so. I like that right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, just export that now. I'm going to export the selection, okay? But before I do that, I got to set that transparency to zero. What this is going to do is it's going to give me the image at the right size, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put this. That's oh, fine. I'll put it there for now. So I'm going to call this UAV crop. Okay, and we can go ahead and delete this image now. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to style that in a, in a program I have that makes uh, images look like a watercolor, and then we'll reinsert it. All right, guys, so I got that uh, image cropped. So, or I mean, uh, I got it uh, painted in the watercolor software. So let's go ahead and import it. Okay, and you'll notice it's the it's the correct size now, uh, so it should just line right up. Okay, so we can put it there, and then we want to get it on the right layer. So that's actually going to go on the images layer. Okay. All right, so uh, we're about ready to uh, start laying out our our first uh, bit of text. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and freeze that, and I'm going to bring this over this box. So this allows us to lay some text out over the image with a little bit of a screen background so it's easier to read the text. I'm just going to duplicate that twice. And then I'll turn my images back on. So you can see now uh, where we can add some text, right? Um, and we can actually run this down a little bit longer if we want. 
Okay, and then uh, we can put another box down here if we want. Yeah, so we've got room for a couple boxes like this, maybe. Okay, and I'm not sure if we'll use all these boxes, but that gives us an idea of what we can do. Okay, and then uh, you can copy this text over, right? And uh, now, I do have a layout grid set up. So I've got a, a two-tenths of an inch layout grid for the, for the text, because we want our text to, to line up on what they call a baseline grid. So let's go to Document Properties and come over here to Grids. So I'm going to turn off this first grid, and I'm going to turn on the second grid that's got the Y spacing at 2 tenths of an inch. Okay, and so what that allows me to do is set my text on the baseline grid. And we can double click this here, make an adjustment there. Okay, and then we can do something like this. Right, and then we can say uh, talk about your UAV ortho photo services here. Okay, and then we're going to say more great stuff about UAV ortho photos here. All right, so uh, we've got the beginnings of a, of a template here, right? I can delete this now. I don't think I need that anymore. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll do some more work on this. Um, I'm going to whip up the text content that, I, that needs to be put in here, and then um, I'll do another video uh, where we get that text content in there and uh, go ahead and, and finish up this layout, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.